Welcome back everyone. Here is the final chapter of the entire course, Human Anatomy and Physiology. In this chapter, you are going to spend a lot of time learning about the medical knowledge that you need as a professional medical interpreter and specifically to pass the written exam for medical interpreter certifications from either NBCMI or CCHI. Now, before we begin, I hope you understand that I am not going to be teaching this medical knowledge to you directly. I will explain further later in this video, but the first thing I want to tell you is how to study for the exam. As you can see, we have come a long way. As I mentioned, this is the last chapter of the course and you might be feeling excited to pop the champagne bottle to celebrate completing this course. But I'm going to be the bad guy here and take that bottle of champagne away from you. Because completing this chapter 6, Human Anatomy and Physiology, will probably take just as much time as you took for completing the past five chapters. There is going to be a lot of materials that you will need to learn to obtain a certified medical interpreter title. Mainly, there are going to be 11 different lessons that you are going to study to complete this course. And depending on how much knowledge you already have, this could be relatively easier or harder for some of you. I want to tell you something first. Prior to obtaining my medical interpreter certification, I actually didn't have any medical knowledge. I mean, I watched Grey's Anatomy until many characters started dying, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> but really that's about it. It's not like I went to a med or pre-med school. In fact, I didn't even study biology in high school. I always thought I would be more of a physics or a chemistry person. Without having any of these, what some might call prerequisite, I still studied and passed the exam. So don't worry if you don't know much about medical stuff. I mean, that's why you are here, right? To learn. For each lesson, I'm going to use these learning materials, Anatomy and Physiology textbook from OpenStax, which is a free learning material provided to anyone who wants to learn. You can find the link in the description below to download this textbook for free. I will also get you to use Anatomy and Physiology YouTube videos made by Crash Course Channel. That does an amazing job at introducing and explaining concepts in human anatomy and physiology. Maybe some of you are wondering why I am not the one who is teaching you this specific medical stuff. Maybe some of you think I am being lazy by using other resources instead. Here is my reasoning. First, I want you to be proactive. I want you to put in your time and effort yourself instead of me just catching this fish, cooking it, serving it to you. When you work as an interpreter, no one is going to be there 24-7 to tell you what to do. I think it is extremely important that you know how to fend for yourself when it comes to learning something. Second, I honestly hate what many other instructors do. I have taken multiple courses for medical interpreting to see how this medical knowledge portion is being taught. What I often saw was this person with a PhD or some interpreters who have been certified just reading things off the slides. Like how does that help you learn any better than actually watching materials that are proven to be effective? The crash course videos that I am using in this lesson with their permission of course are vetted by millions of students across the world. This is what I used to study for my exams too. I will be completely honest with you. There is no way I can make better lecture videos than them, period. No matter how hard I try when it comes to teaching you medical knowledge, these videos will be far more efficient and effective than why am I here? What can I do for you? I am here to teach you how to utilize these materials because what I've been what I have learned in the past is that especially with the power of internet we have more than enough resources to learn but the problem is we often don't know how to utilize these resources efficiently and effectively so that's why I am going to teach you with these seven studying steps 
Number one, watch crash course videos. You can simply look up crash course human anatomy on, uh, on YouTube. All of their videos will be on their channel. There is a specific playlist on their channel for you to watch all of the anatomy and physiology videos. What I have done here is showing the corresponding chapters in the textbook and the number of videos on the Crash Course Anatomy and Physiology playlist. I also have the links in the description below for you to click and go straight to watch the corresponding videos. One thing I want to make clear is that numbers I put is at the end of the title, not the number on uh, the playlist. I hope you don't get confused by this. For example, let's say you are studying the cardiovascular system. You can find the corresponding chapters in your OpenStax textbook as shown here in the brackets. So if you look at the chapter 18, 19, 20 of the OpenStax textbook, uh, you will see materials related to the cardiovascular system. Where it says video 25, 26, 27, 28, that's the crash course videos that you can watch. Another thing I want to tell you is the guy you see, uh, his name is Hank Green, and I do find his talking quite fast. But also the video comes with the closed captions, you can turn it on, that can be helpful if you think he talks too fast. In my opinion, it is just so easy to lose focus when we watch these videos. You start the video, you get distracted, look at your phone for a while, text your friends, go to the bathroom while the video is playing. It is so easy to do this because, you know, watching this video is free and you can always go back and re-watch, right? That's what you need to be careful. When you watch these videos, I want you to pay attention. Each video is actually not that long, usually within 10 minutes or so. I want you to put yourself in a place where you can actually focus for 10 minutes. Don't just press play and do something else. I want you to pay attention to what Hank is saying and see if you can understand. If you are like me, meaning you never got any specific education in human anatomy and physiology before, it is very likely that you will not understand everything the first time you watch it. So what I'm going to get you to do is to watch the chapter review in the OpenStax textbook next. So let's say you are studying the very first lesson, overview. You just watch the crash course video number one. Then I would like you to open the textbook file and go to the contents page where you can find at the beginning of the textbook. Then you will click on the chapter review for that chapter. There you will be able to see the summary of the entire chapter in short paragraphs. One thing to note is that this will not go hand in hand with the crash course videos we just watched. So it might talk about some other things that the videos didn't cover. It might not talk about some things that Hank talked about in the video. But because the written exam we are taking doesn't actually specify which textbook or materials the exam is based on, we essentially have to cover the broad idea of each topic. So I want you to read through the chapter reviews for the first chapter. Don't go into the specific details just yet, but have a general idea what this chapter is about. Next thing you're going to do is you are going to take a quiz. I call this the easy quiz, and this is only available if you have paid for the course. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, you will have to skip to the next step. Uh, if you're doing a paid version of the course, there will be a short quiz that I picked after each video. After this, I want you to watch the crash course videos again. If you really focus the first time, as I told you too, things will be a lot easier to understand the second time you watch this. Especially since you have read the chapter review, you will now have a much better idea what this chapter is about. Next step is to use the Crash Course flashcards. So if you look at the description box of any Crash Course videos, you will be able to see that there is a link to download their app 
for free. This is actually amazing and I found this extremely helpful. It is all completely for free and you can do a flashcard type or a quiz type. It is pretty self-explanatory but I would like you to spend some time on this app to study for the chapter you just watched again. Next, now go to the OpenStax textbook again, but this time you will read through the actual chapters. I recommend doing this if you did terribly on the easy quiz and the quizzes on the flashcard app. If you think you are getting it, then I suggest you simply skim through and move on. But if you are constantly getting stuck at the flashcard quizzes, it will be a good idea to go to the key terms here and find the terms that you are having a hard time understanding and go to the part from the textbook to learn more in depth. Next thing, you are going to take what I call the hard quiz. This is a set of questions from the OpenStax textbook. You will be able to find it here. If you are doing a paid version of the course, you can actually take this as a quiz from the course and also see the solution there. Uh, unfortunately, if you're just studying it with the textbook, I think it does not give you the solutions to every question, but I'm sure you can find the answers yourself. I have one more thing that I was going to include at first, but I decided to leave it as an optional exercise since not everyone learns things the, way, the same way I do. What I found really helpful when I was learning uh, human anatomy and physiology was drawing the body map and writing down what each organ does in very simple short form. Especially when you're learning about the heart, brain, or central nervous system, it is extremely helpful to be able to visualize where things are and what they do. So just grab a piece of paper ideally something larger than just a letter size paper, and try drawing the body. See if you can write down key functions of each organ. You will also be able to see many images similar to this from the OpenStax uh, textbook, or simply Google it as well. So that is it from me. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, I believe this is the last lecture video from me. So I just wanted to tell you that you have done an amazing work. Of course, if you actually paid attention and did all the work. If you are watching this on my website, there will be one final video where I explain how to get your certificate and the letter of recommendation at the very end of this course. So I will see you again once you finish studying all the medical term, uh, knowledge portion. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I just want to remind you that this is not the end of your studying. This is only the beginning of it because we will never stop studying as an interpreter. Well, thank you for watching and good luck.